Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on my top five game releases for 2020. Um, we're already in February, it's crazy. March is right around the corner. Um, so yeah, I wanna break down what my top five games are that are coming out this year. So number five, I'm gonna go with Animal Crossing uh, for the Switch that's coming out in March of 2020. Um, I've never really played Animal Crossing really in my life. The most that I've played is the game that's on uh, the iPhone, the Animal Crossing game, and I liked it. I thought it was pretty neat. Um, this new game seems like it's going to be the most in-depth game uh, that Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing has ever had, um, and I think that's pretty exciting. It seems like a neat idea to have your own type of island and be able to create your own thing. It's kind of like, it reminds me of Minecraft um, in different ways. Um, and I like all the characters that are in Animal Crossing. So I think that's gonna be a neat game. And I think it's gonna be the first one that I actually check out. Number four, I'm gonna go with Dying Light 2. Um, I played the Dying Light game, uh, the original, when it came out years ago, and I did enjoy it. I thought it, uh, the story was a little bit lackluster, but it made up for it with the gameplay. Um, it is very fun to go around and just jump from building to building and, and kill zombies. I do like zombie games a lot. This one is to be announced. Um, there's not an official release date for that, but people are planning on it coming out this year. Um, so that is definitely my hope, and I look forward to that game. Number three, I have to go with Gears Tactics. Uh, this is gonna be a strategy game. It reminds me a little bit of Halo Wars. Um, set in the Gears of War universe. This is 12 years before the original Gears of War game came out. Um, and I'm excited about that. I wish they would have done a mainline game in this at this time period, um, but that's okay. Uh, it's better than nothing. Um, it will be free on the Game Pass, so it will definitely be worth checking out. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about it, especially after Gears of War 5 being a total flop. Uh, hopefully this can make up for it just a little bit. So number two, I'm going to go with Halo Infinite just because I'm a big Halo fan. Uh, this is projected to come out in quarter four of 2020, so it won't be till the end of the year. It's expected to be a launch title for the Series X, um, but it will be playable on all Xbox One consoles. So that's exciting. I'm, I'm happy about that because I don't think I'll get the Series X right away. Um, but it, it's going to be interesting. It's going to follow Halo 5. Um, which I wasn't a huge fan of Halo 5, so I'm looking for some more redemption here at Microsoft. Um, but I think it'll be a fun game, and, and anytime Master Chief's in it, I'm going to play it. My number one game that's anticipated for this year is Marvel's Avengers. I am so excited about this game. I've wanted an Avengers game since the movie came out uh, years ago. Square Enix is finally doing it. Looks like September's when we're going to get it. Um, and I'm super excited. I can't wait to see how the fighting mechanics are. I'm a huge superhero fan the way it is. Um, I love the Batman Arkham games and the Spider-Man game on PlayStation. I haven't got a chance to play it, but it, it had incredible reviews and everybody I talked to loved it. So it's time to have a good Avengers game. Um, and I'm super, super excited about that. What are your top five? Um, what, just give me one. What game are you excited about coming out this year? Uh, what are you gonna be putting a lot of hours into? Let me know down below and as always, thank you for watching.